there and Hello. welcome back to our channel. I'm Nikki. I'm Rachel and we're the Stitch Sisters. In this video we're going to be talking about stretch denim in particular. What that means, what the fibres are that are involved in stretch denim and talking about all the ins and outs to get that perfect stretch. <laughs> Stretch now, stretch. Yes, oh, oh. Stretch. Oh. Uh, yes. <laughs> stretch now for any of you curvilicious ladies out there, or just anyone in general that wants to be comfortable. Yes, uh, you'll know how important stretch is in mm. your denim. But the um, amount of stretch is the tricky thing. It is, it is. And the thing is, is that it's so important. So, for instance, I love a high waisted jean, yeah. but unless that high waisted jean has stretch in the denim, I yeah. can't wear it because no. I can stand up in it. But when I sit mm. down, my stomach needs to go somewhere, and unless yeah. there's enough gear in the fabric, mm. then I have to undo my jeans and sit there on the sofa with my belly hanging Nobody out. wants that, <laughs> no, especially in public. No, but we've all done that. You all know what I'm talking about. Yes. So stretch is quite important. And for me, having the right amount of stretch is, is, yeah. is important. But it's also um, important in terms of choosing your patterns. Mm. Because when we discuss patterns, in a later video, we have recorded exactly which ones are for stretch denim and non-stretch denim. Mm. Some of them tell you exactly how much stretch you can add. Mm. But the confusing thing about it is that sometimes you've got the, uh, the percentage of, of elastane that's in the fabric. Yes. And sometimes people are referring to the amount of stretch in it. And they're two completely different things. So yeah. it would help for us to try and explain the how the two work. Yes. <laughs> So one thing that we learned during our research is that elastomas, yes. which is basically the stretchy fibres, now they have different brand names and you'll be more familiar with those. So elastane is one of them, mm -hmm. lycra yes. is another, spandex is another. is another. Yes. So you can get different brands, but effectively they're stretchy fibres that are added to the fabric. They all do the same thing, yes. they're just made by different manufacturers. Yes, so lycra isn't more stretchy than elastane or spandex no. and you know, so they're, they're, you can trust them all the same. Yes. Um, but one thing uh, that is different uh, to a lot of other fabrics is that with um, denim, the elastomas are usually added to the weft. Um, mm -hmm. So, which is the white fibres that's at the back of the and denim. that's from selvage to selvage. So that, as you would cut a pair of jeans, that's mm -hmm. going around your body. That's where you want that stretch to go. You don't want it coming down the leg yes. necessarily. No. You want it going around. No. Now, four-way stretch yes. is different. That goes both ways. It goes both ways. But that, again hasn't seemed to have filtered down into the dressmaking community yet. No, and it's a shame, but having said that, I only came across one pattern out of the 40 odd denim patterns that we've um, got to talk to you about that actually called for a four way stretch denim. Right. So to be honest, the denims are a bit behind, but the patterns are also a bit also, behind. Okay. Um, so when you see in the shops, these kind of wonder stretch denim, yeah. or the lift shape and sculpt jeans and all those kind yeah. of things, that uses four-way denim, which we haven't been able to find at all. No. If anybody has, we would love to know about it. Yeah, but also if the patterns are not available to actually make that, I guess you could still use a, um, a skinny jean or a jegging yeah, pattern yeah. for that kind of denim, but it just doesn't feel as if it's quite there. So if that's the kind of fabrics that you love and those are the kind of jeans that you love, you can still go ahead and buy them, that's fine, but we'll just make all the others out of the other denim available. Or you can be really sustainable and buy a second-hand pair and if they're in a bigger yes. size, you can still use a pattern to resize them and Absolutely. make them fit you perfectly, so that's Perfect. another option. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but basically, uh, when you see a percentage of stretch in a fabric, a lot of it is actually affected by how heavy that fabric is. And that's yeah. something that we had confirmed to us as we were going through all of our denim samples here. Just gonna get all the stretch ones off the floor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, when you have, let's say, 3% of stretch, so that's 3% elastane or 3% lycra or 3% spandex mm -hmm. in the composition of the fabric. So it might say 97% cotton, 3% spandex. Yeah or it might say 70% cotton, 27% uh, polyester, 3% uh -huh. spandex, something like that. So that's what is actually referred to as the percentage of elastic fibers that are in the garment. Yeah. But how much that fabric physically stretches will determine, will be determined by how heavy the fabric is. Yes. So if you've got 3% of stretch, 
in a very lightweight fabric, like a chambray. Gonna be like that. That's gonna be quite stretchy. Yeah. Whereas if you've got 3% of stretch in a 12 ounce, 13 ounce denim, um, a heavyweight mm, denim, then that like is that. going to stretch <laughs> just a tiny amount. Now, a lot of patterns are, so they give you, they want you to have a specific amount of stretch. And that's because getting your jeans to fit you is one of the biggest things. So choosing your pattern size, um, it's just as important that you pick the right size in the pattern as you pick the right denim that has the right amount of stretch. Yes. Now, another way that they describe stretch is to say that the denim stretches by say 15 or 20%. Mm -hmm. And by that, they mean that if you were to take a sample of denim and you were to measure it, let's say you measured 10 centimeters of it. And then when you pulled that 10 centimeter fabric, you managed to stretch it all the way to 11.5. Mm. That would be 15% stretch. If you managed to stretch it to 12, that would be 20% stretch mm. because it's 20% on top of what the original size was. Yes. So some patterns will give you it in terms of how much stretch and most of the ones I saw, you're talking about under 20%. Um, mm. I did see one I think that called for denim that stretches 30% and that was for like a really skinny jegging or something uh, like that. Okay. Um, so obviously mm. you're going to need samples to help you do that. Mm. Now the fabric suppliers will list the stretch and the denim in completely different ways. So some of them mm -hmm. will say um, that you know that it's got two percent stretch in, in the composition. Yeah, which is the fibre count really, isn't it? Yeah. So and some of them will tell you that it's fifteen to twenty percent stretch. Mm. So if it doesn't give you the kind of higher number that gives you an idea of how much the fabric actually stretches, yeah. then you do need to take into consideration the weight of the denim. Mm. Because if it's only 2% and it's a heavyweight denim, that's barely any movement at all. Yeah. And you usually find you're talking about 2 or 3% in most denims mm -hmm. um, that are considered stretch. It's not going to be much more than that. No, they're not going to be, it's not going to be like 100% lycra mm -hmm. or a jersey or something yeah. like that. It's a small amount of stretch. But the other thing that we need to think about is recovery as mm. well because it's not the fact that your denim is stretching around your kneecaps as you bend your knees what you don't want at the end of the day is to have your kneecaps stuck out when your legs are still straight yes. so that the denim has stayed in that position mm -hmm. as the denim has stretched and it hasn't recovered back to the position it was to start with yeah. so that's really important because otherwise yeah. you make a pair of jeans that you can only wear once and you want to really. put back in the wash again yeah. and you don't want to do that we don't want to be washing them all the time we don't want to be doing that kind of thing so we need to it needs to be the right fibers yes. and the right content mm -hmm. for the right pattern um, but so, hopefully that gives you an idea of how stretch actually works i know mm -hmm. it doesn't clear everything up because there's absolutely no way that you can actually convert between them by saying mm -hmm. okay well that's three percent in the composition and that says it stretches 20 percent yeah so how do i marry those two up you can't really because no. it all is affected by the actual weight of the fabric and the and the number of fibers in yeah. the in the warp, warp and the warp and, and, and also kind of nowadays the, com the actual composition of the jeans themselves may not just be cotton mm -hmm. you can get other fibers which are in included we've, we've got one here which has got poly cotton in included in it there's a couple there's, yeah. there's others that have tensile in involved and things like that so that is just confusing the whole mixture again yeah. so it doesn't it's not kind of like a one size fits all mm -hmm. um you can't really do that i think some with stretch fabrics maybe you have to get a sample and yeah. feel it and stretch it yourself yeah and, 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 and that is yourself. worth considering because polyester mm -hmm. tensile lysol those kind of fabrics they do actually have more stretch in them naturally they're not yeah. stretchy fabrics but there's but a there's there, there's a little bit more give, give. in those mm -hmm. fibers but without any elastic in there, there's no recovery on those. So they're no. the types of things that if you do stretch them out, won't actually recover until you wash them. Yes. Um, but again, it will depend on how, what percentage of those fibres are actually in there, how much mm. cotton there is to actually mm. keep that sturdy, more rigid kind of look. Yes. Um, so yeah, it is confusing. The only thing that we can suggest is that most of the jeans patterns that we found do give you quite clear recommendations. Okay. And depending on whether it says 15 to 20% or whether it says 3% in the composition um, it will limit the choices that you have because you'll be looking for denim online that gives you exactly that information so you know that you're buying exactly the right thing but the other thing that you can do is to get samples and test it out for yourself because mm -hmm. if you know it's got three percent but then you order it and you do the stretch test and you can then see okay it's got 20 percent, so that's what i need uh -huh. um, or it only does 10 so it's not quite going to work mm -hmm. um, 
But the other thing you can do is ask the supplier to actually stretch the fabric for you, to do a stretch test, because that's extra information for them to put on their system that other people can benefit from. Yeah. So you asking them to do it, you're actually doing them a favour because that's information they should really have on there anyway. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, that's a minefield, that's that stretch. Minefield. Yes, it is. <laughs>